Hey guys, watch how cute this is going to be. Usually when babies uh, lift their heads up like that, it means they're really, really hungry where they want to feed. How cute. Let's see if we can get this on camera. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Joe from Hogging Outs. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. This video you're about to watch has over 20 of my babies feeding in this video. And it took me a whopping, whopping, wha love that word, whopping, seven hours to make this video. Reason being is, well, it took me four and a half hours to feed my hog noses this weekend. And I also recorded them as they were feeding. And of course, the editing process takes a pretty long time when you have a lot of videos. And that took me about three hours to do as well. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Watch it at the end. We have a little grand finale, one of my favorite holdbacks of the year, and that's the last baby feeding in this video. And as usual, if you're interested in any of these babies, hit me up with the item number either on my Discord server, my Instagram, or on my Morph Market page. You can follow me over there and hit me up with a DM. All right, let's move on here and check out over 20 of my babies feeding here on Hogging Outs. All right, everybody, time to feed some babies. And as usual, pinkies, extra small pinkies with uh, salmon and sardine juice. It's the only two I've used when it comes to um, scenting the pinkies, and it's been working uh, really good for me. All of my babies have fed so far. All right, guys, this is uh, Annie's Clutch of Three. They hatched out a few weeks ago. I got the shakes. There you go. About time. There you go, about time. And it looks like we hit the trifecta. All three feet at once. Gotta love that, huh? All three at once. Let's check them out individually. Time to feed this beauty. She is huge. I think she's around 15 or 16 grams already. This is definitely uh, my biggest hognose snake or my largest hognose snake. She's been feeding very well. I think it's her 15th feeding. And of course, with the head sticking up, you know she's hungry. That's a good indication. It's always a good indication they're hungry. And you can tell she's very hungry. <music> Alright guys, the next baby we have up is on hold for uh, Jonathan. So Jonathan, here's your baby feeding. They fed on salmon and frozen thawed, so it's going to be uh, their fifth feeding. Let's feed this baby. There you go. Yeah, good job. I had to scent that with salmon, but she took it like a champ. <laughs> All right, a couple super arctics here. Let's see if we can uh, get these little guys to feed. This guy fed for the first time last week on salmon, so we're gonna offer him salmon again to keep him on feed. So we'll see if he'll take it. Hmm? 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 You sure do want it. Well, good job, pal. All 
Alright guys, time for uh, two more Super Arctics here. These babies have been feeding incredibly well. So hopefully they don't make me a liar here. There's one. Right, time for these two babies. They're taking sardine. They're feeding consecutively, but I'm going to try to do a frozen thawed unsense at first. Let's see if they take it. There you go. There you go. Alright, scented it is. Alright guys, here we go. Arctic. Very angry. 50% double head snow. Possible het. Evan's hypo. Cute little cinnamon uh, roll action going on. He's a very angry little guy. I love him. He usually bluff strikes, then eats. Like I said. I know all my babies' personalities so far, most of them. They all have uh, unique personalities. This guy likes to bluff strike, then feed. Pretty cute. Alright guys, let's feed this male uh, superconda, Arctic superconda. Beautiful baby. Thick too, very thick. And uh He's on Morph Market. A little skittish today, but he should feed. There he goes. Alright guys, the next two babies, these both are on Morph Market. 50% double head snow, possible head to Evan, Evan's hypo, one's normal, one's an anaconda. I think the anaconda is arctic. They both might be arctic, but... Alright, you guys are good feeders. <laughs> it. She likes it. Mm -hmm. Nice strike, girl. These babies are uh, Autumn 112 Arctic Superconda and Autumn 111 Normal Arctic. And of course, they're both 50% uh, double head snow, possible head to Evans hypo. Let's get to it. They've been feeding really good on Frozen Thawed. There's one going down. There's one. And... Come on. 
You got it, girl. You got it. There you go. There you go, guys. That's how you do it. Back to back. everybody sometimes you got to feed your uh, hog noses when they're really picky by just opening the tub very slowly trying to get the tongs in there with the pinky and the reason why I have to do this with her is because she's a drama queen she is the biggest drama queen I have she always bluff strikes doesn't want to feed but this is her third consecutive feed in and I've been doing it by just opening the tub a little bit, sneaking the pinky in there, and she eats it. Most of my hog noses, I just pull them out of the tub, put them here on the on the table, and just feed them. They're fine, you know. But uh, some some babies got a baby. That makes sense. You got to baby some babies. Alright guys, this is a SIL 208. This baby is sold. Going to a new home, I believe, this week. And she is a really good eater. She just wants to pay attention to this and, you know. There you go. There you go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know what that is. That's num nums. Num nums. Oh, there you go. I just had to move it into your line of sight. Good job, girl. You are beautiful. Hate to let you go. You are gorgeous. <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. A beautiful Articonda. 50% double head snow, possible head to Evans hypo. He's been feeding very, very well. This is a beautiful Agnes. Just looking at his pattern is amazing. Nice and easy. I'm like his Arctic coloring on his dorsal is absolutely I'm like it's stunning. It's very clean, very clean pattern. With the black outline, the white edging, beautiful, beautiful. I will probably put him on Morph Market soon. He's fed uh, four consecutive times, so here you go. All right, we got a beautiful Arctic uh, Conda here. Beautiful. All right, guys, contest winners, Hog News, baby Hog News, and this is Rice's Outdoors Baby. Beautiful, beautiful Arctic Conda. And he's been a good feeder. Oh. You missed it. There you go, pal. Very nice. And his uh, high expression Arctic uh, colors, amazing. Here we have a beautiful Artaconda. 
she's been feeding on uh or he's been feeding on uh sardine scented but we're gonna see if we can get him to feed on frozen thawed so we're gonna scent with sardine which he likes and there he goes stick it in your mouth like that push it in there you go there you go All right, everybody, the grand finale. This might be the grand finale for the video, uh, baby feeding video, but um, one of my favorite hoggies I produced this year, babies, and um, very high red, maroon red, very like deep orange colors. Uh, he's a holdback, he's beautiful. Let's get him out. All right, everybody, here he is. We gotta come up with a name for him. Something to do with his colors, I would think, but he is beautiful. I had to assist feed him after eight weeks. I think this is his seventh meal. He usually takes it right away now. He's just feeding very, very well. Look at those colors. Those colors pop in person. Video's not gonna justify his colors, how beautiful they are, but I love this little guy. So there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. You have a great week. This is Joe from Hagen Outs. I'm out. Cheers.